Hi, my name is Julia Silke and I am a data scientist and engineering manager at Posit. And these days I am working on Positron, which is our new next generation data science and IDE. We just pushed out a new monthly release of Positron that has some features I'm pretty excited about. And in this screencast, I'm just gonna quickly walk through um, what's new in the Data Explorer. The Data Explorer is one of our flagship features that I think makes Positron different from other IDEs that you may, um, that you may uh, have alternatives and using. And so I'm gonna, in this screencast, walk through using um, last week's Tidy Tuesday data set on uh, literary prizes, um, some, of the, some of how to use the Data Explorer, some of what it can do that you may be interested in. All right, let's dig into these these literary prizes, and with, especially with an eye to uh, what's new in the Data Explorer um, in Positron here. So I've got some Polar's code here that reads in the CSV, and I'm gonna show a, a couple of different ways of getting into the Data Explorer. Um, the first is if you have objects that are either in your Python or your R, um, run like in your session that you have read in from a CSV or you've created them, like any, any kind of different way you've done that. You can either use something like a view, the view magic, or you can come over here and click in, which will give us, um, uh, the, the view here over into the data, the data set. I also though want to show you how a way that you can, you can just get straight there, actually not with R or Python. If you have a CSV over in your, um, in your workspace, you can click it and that will open your, uh, we'll, we'll actually use DuckDB to open that CSV straight into your Data Explorer. So even if I came over here, I restarted Python so that um, like my, my data frame is gone here, like nothing is in my session right now, I click here and it will open it um, just with no runtime at all, which I find really helpful when I want to um, just kind of get a first look at what this is like. Let us... Um, let us actually, I'm just gonna get rid of the secondary sidebar altogether over here so that I can have a nice big view here into my data explorer. If I want that back, I can say um, focus into the secondary sidebar and it'll come back like that. But I'm gonna get rid of it and just focus on the data explorer for a while. So um, uh, this data explorer, it's got a grid here and then it has a summary panel over here. And in the summary panel, you see information. Um, for example, this is the, um, the prize year here and we can, we can scroll um, up and down and see the different variables it tells us how many variables are missing, what percentage is missing. If I click in here, I can see some, um, some uh, summary stats and a little bit of a nice um, uh, little, little histogram in here telling me what these are like. So the summary panel gives me a nice view into uh, overall, and then of course I can scroll around in the Data Explorer as I want to. The Data Explorer is built uh, to be performance uh, first, it's built to be super performant. So here, this is, you can see down here in the bottom, um, it tells me I've got uh, 952 rows, 23 columns, but the Data Explorer is built to be performant up to millions of rows and very wide data as well there. Okay, so let's talk about a few of the things that you can do now that um, are new in the release of Positron that just came out. One is that you can search in the summary panel over here. So let's say I wanna, I'm like, oh, how many of these are about a year? And I, I find there the year comes up. I'm like, oh, okay, how many of these, you know, have a P in them? And it filters down there. So you can quickly uh, search into your columns there. Um, I, uh, we've got, you know, tool tips here that tell you things about the values and what percentage they make up, which I find really helpful for getting going with that initial, um, that initial kind of first look uh, at a data set. I uh, want to highlight this. This isn't new, but can be quite nice. What I'm looking at here is a view that's like a specialized UI for dealing with it, but sometimes 
say if I want to look at this CV, CSV, sometimes I just want to open it as the, literally in an editor. Like I just want to be able to see this. And actually, if I, I don't really want to, but like I could, you know, I can literally type now because this is an editor, just a plain CSV. So I can get to that from here or I can get to that from here as well if I do open with and choose the, the, um, the text editor there. So that is, um, uh, opening as a plain text file. Something that is new in the newest release for the Data Explorer is being able to pin columns and rows. So let's say I, this, this is pretty wide, right? There's lots of stuff here. And I, let's say I'm, I'm like, oh man, I want to pin, I want to pin the name here. So I can pin this column and then it pops over to this side and stays where it is. And then I can, um, I can go around and, um, and scroll back and forth and see, uh, uh, it like be able to compare what's in the name column to these other things. So you can pin more than one column. You can pin rows as well. So pinning is something, and notice when I pinned, it also popped this up to the top so that, and it also is pinned over here. So you can do, um, use pins um, of columns and of rows to be able to uh, quickly uh, you know, get a sense of what's in your data to be able to navigate it pretty well. So let us unpin this here. So now we're back to the unpinned state here. Now let me talk about other things that you can do. So you can um, select and copy various parts of this if you want to. So I can um, copy a column. Now this column is on my, um, uh, on my clipboard. So if I open a new file, uh, let's call it, I'm going to call this file, um, pasting results. And I'm going to call it, a t I'm going to uh, call it as a TSV. And I am going to open this with the, um, built in here like this. So if I paste it, well, um, notice that I can ju I just pasted that whole column there. So it was on my clipboard. Another thing that we can do, let me um, hide this here. If I um, am scrolling around and I, for some reason I want to uh, select some rectangular shape, like I wanna, you know, I, I'm, I'm holding shift and clicking to get some kind of re rectangular shape and then I copy then I can paste that in. And again, this is a tab separated, which is a really good fit. You know, you can paste it into a TSV file like I have here, or you can paste it into a, um, uh, you know, Excel or Google spreadsheets or something like that. It's a really good fit for that as well. So we can select, we can copy and paste. Let me also now talking about sorting. So let's say the prize alias or prize name here. Let's say I want to, um, I want to sort, uh, ascending here. And so now I've got this sorted. So it's in alphabetical order and it's telling me, uh, I can see right here that it is sorted. And if I were to scroll down, and now I see that the prize names are all grouped together in that way. So I can sort, and then let's say, um, I also want to filter. Let's see, I want to find, um, all the, all the people who, um, whose first name is, their first name contains, um, my name is Julia. So let's see how many people have a, a Julie in their name like that. So here we've got some Julians and some Julias here. So um, I, I sorted, so this is still sorted over here and I've also done a filter. So I can see um, up here, it's telling me the filters that I have. I can clear things, I can get rid of this, I can add another filter if I'm interested in that. But something else that's new in this current release of Positron that I'm really excited about is the convert to code um, feature here. So if I click this, it's going to give me code here that, um, uh, that reflects what I've done in the UI. So if I, I have done a, um, I have done a, a filter. And so it's giving me the, uh, SQL code that shows me how to do that filter. And then I've also sorted by prize name. And so it gives me the SQL here. Um, uh, if I instead were, I can copy it 
here. And I, you know, if I want to go in here, I can copy it. This is a C TSV file, so not the best place to um, copy, of course, but really exciting to be able to have that. So if I was looking at a Polar's data frame, I would get Polar's Python code, pandas, I would get pandas Python code. And if I was looking at an R data frame, we currently have support for tidyverse code, but are going to be adding more pretty soon. All right, we did it. We opened up this data set about literary prizes in the Data Explorer. We talked about how to use different features like pinning columns, filtering and sorting, how to export the um, as code the UI um, choices that we made. When I think about the Data Explorer, um, what excites me about it is that it helps you in your exploratory data analysis, like that very iterative exploratory part of the work that we do as data practitioners. And at the same time, it has tools that help you um, help you have reproducible practices, help you set you up for success in on the kind of work that you need to do. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time.